don't like this. So I should be back by now. Rex says, 10 o'clock, shake the evil, relax. Because the night all this guy is right. Cassie says, so you're going to be making Cassie pay you money to play. But John's a big boy. That's not the point. Tell me. Come on, kid. My dad can take care of himself. Well, that's just it. Cass, I'm not sure that he can. He's been so strung out lately, and all of his holiday stuff just seems to have made things worse. He's not a trusted guy. Yeah, I think they have a feeling about this. Where could he be? You got that one. You got something going with him. Fruits. They deserve a lot more than you. Maybe. Hey, will you get him? If he's a trash, no bad, no hope. He looks like he's mad with you. Well, you know, if whatever it is has taken a year, we can wait until the morning. You need to get some no, rest. No, no, Johnny, please. I need to tell you now. But I'm not. Okay. I want to tell you why I'm not a jerk. Tell Lena whatever it is, I swear. Just hear me out, okay? Hey, you listen first. That monster almost destroyed me. I will not allow that to happen to me, too. I'm doing everything that you can. You can't be Charlene for them. Cass, if anything else were to happen, I... I don't think I could take it. 
It's okay, Brady Gregory. I'm gonna go ahead and look for Dylan, okay? There's no problem. This guy just had a few too many. Happy holidays, fella. You need to get yourself home done. You got a little baby there, right? Look, 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 look I'm sorry if things don't happen. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Take care of yourself, Doc. This time of year, everybody goes a little nuts. Yeah. Christmas is supposed to make you happy, isn't it? So they say. Now, what do you say? Bob uh, Humbug? Yeah. It's just a bad zone. It always seems like now's the time it blows. So simple to say. Elena, you know there's nothing that you can't tell me. I'm not so sure. I only know that I have to. Is any hope? I've known for a long time that your marriage to Jake was not everything that you wanted us to think it was. I've also known that you've never stopped caring for Grant. That's over. That's what was happening at Tops tonight? You know something was wrong. <laughs> it was wrong way before today. You and Grant? I loved him very much, Tina. But I couldn't marry him. Well, then why? Because I knew I could ruin his career. And I couldn't do that to him. But I understand. You've been accepted into our family. How did that make a difference to you? He said it didn't. He said a lot of things. Well, then you accepted his proposal. I never should have done that. It doesn't make sense. When you gave him back his ring, it seemed like ten minutes later you were engaged to Jake. I, I couldn't buy it. I had to, Jamie. What are you saying? That Jake forced you to marry him? Why did you just come to me? Jamie, you make it sound so easy. There wasn't any way. Is this easy? I mean, living this close to him? I could just stand it. No! No, it wasn't a marriage like that. Are you serious? We were legally married. That's it. What I wanted to tell Grant tonight that I never betrayed him like he thought I did. Jamie, I never loved him. I could hardly stand him being him. Are you telling me that you and Jake never? No. The marriage was a sham. Then why did it happen? How? Because Jake was blackmailing me. Thank you. 
that the bar that we were actually going to do on to get that bar code. What we can do is find path to take that we can fill the fields gap. So, is he up there with that? Yes, he is. It sounds good. Congratulations, I got to go on. Yeah, wait, I'm just not off of it. Well, I want out of it, but... Fine. What? You know how to make it any point in Venice. The bed's on for you. This whole place is down bananas. Something weird is going on around here, and I'm going to find out. Oh, no, 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 Tiger, stay right here. Him, but why the hell? Why not? I don't trust him. Well, that doesn't mean you have to go running after him. I gotta find out about Paulina. Look, maybe he got her money, and she got upset, so she Do decided... the words, none of your business. Ring a bell. Paulina is my business. Okay, well then, look. Why don't you just wait until she gets better, and then you can ask her. And stay away... From Jake. Paulina's fine. Fine isn't enough. I want to know what happened. I heard she almost died. She didn't, and she swore, so why don't you be a good little girl and get out of my car? Listen to me, you turkey. I care about Paulina. She's the only person in my life who has ever been there for me, who's ever cared about me. If you did anything to hurt her, Jake... It was an accident. So give me that garbage. <laughs> Maybe you can sell that stuff to the rest of the people in the big house, but I'm not buying it. I hear you two going at it tooth and nail, day and night. And I don't believe it's just so you can beat me, either. What'd you do to her, Jake? Did you hurt her? Tell me. I didn't want to. I knew it! I knew it! You pig and amazing bird! Go! Sarah! Everything that we want to happen doesn't always work that way. It's not my fault. I knew there was something fishy. Tell me the truth, Jake. You want some truth? I'll give you a heavy dose of it. You remember it and apply it every day of your life. Rule number one, don't trust anyone. Don't need anyone. And above all, don't you love anyone. You trust one person and one person only. That is yourself. That's your truth. Jake, just a bow. You want to be a quick Just a couple more minutes, Grandma. And um, then Pauline really needs to try to get some sleep. Okay. Gotcha. Easy does it, you guys. I wish you could have trusted me. Jimmy, it wasn't that. Paulina, if you had come to me in the first place, I knew all along that something was wrong. Your wedding day. Well, I know how hard you tried to get me to tell you what happened, Jamie, but there was just no way. Why do you think I locked you away? I tried to get it out of you before you went through the ceremony. Jamie, I didn't think I had any choice. You had you that scared? I thought he was in control. <laughs> but I realize now that if I told the truth in the beginning, I... maybe I wouldn't have grand day. At least I'd have my self-respect. I did this to myself. It doesn't have to happen any longer, Paulina. I can handle Jake McKinnon. Jamie, please, you don't know everything yet. Paulina, whatever else there is to know, my family is standing behind you. I promise you that. I don't know what Jake thinks he has Jamie, on you. Jamie, stop it, please. You don't understand. It's not all Jake. I told you, I did this to myself. Paulina, I don't know. 
what you could have done to cause this problem, to, to cause this... But, Dave... It's so hard that you won't hate me. Oh, if I knew it, I could never hurt you. Do you all understand? Just say it. Whatever it is, just say it. I'm on your side. I don't know what you said, I'm running a special. Is your coat still wet? Do you think I could see Paulina now? Oh, why don't you wait? Jamie is still up there with her. How come? Well, I don't know. I tried to crash, but uh, they didn't seem to want company. That must mean she's okay then. Uh, it, otherwise, he'd come down and say so, right? Well, that makes sense. Did you get anything out of Jake? No. Just a bunch of garbage that sounded like it came from a sick fortune cookie. Jake's a complicated man. Do you want to know something? Everybody around here is complicated. Whatever do you mean? Well, it's just that where I grew up, things were really pretty simple. You scratched around to get enough to eat. You tried to stay warm and dry, and you covered your tail so you wouldn't get whacked. That's uncomplicated. Well, compared to this cycle world, it was simple. I'm not saying it was great. It stank. If it hadn't been for Paulina... She stood up for you, huh? Yeah, and now I want to stick up for her. But I don't know how. I know what you mean, believe me. You do? When you get to be my age, if you haven't felt helpless about somebody you love, you haven't been listening. So what do you do? You do whatever you're asked to do. Sometimes you get stuck just making cocoa. The kitchen cabinet would be moved into it. Mm -hmm. She was with this guy who was two sheets in the morning. He kept casting the lines. A wave of anger came over me. I wanted to kill the guy. I bashed him for it. I think I'm losing it, Kelly. I really do. I don't think you're losing it, John. I think you're grieving. 
feelings are just lost when you think about what you lost. Certainly not in denying about my feelings in the moment. It just means you let it do with the pain. For everybody, I guess. But we're all dealing with this, John. One day at a time. So you're back. That's great. But doesn't it matter to you that Frankie has been worried sick? And then I've been driving out there on icy roads looking for you. You couldn't have the decency to phone. The guy they brought in from Washington for the Hutchins case. Oh, they always want to be cops, all cops want to be. Things better at home now? What's it to you? Are you charging me for something that I don't know about? Guess prosecutors are just closed mm. tax. How come, Mr. Prosecutor, you're still in Bay City? Maybe I like it here. There are worse places to be. So, anyone want to play some pool? Looks like I'm in there. You'll do it. Hey, let me double, all right? You? Still working on a beer. Don't work too hard. So, what do you say we play eight ball for a hundred bucks? You're on. Oh, don't tell me. You were the captain of the billiards team in Cubs. You got me all figured out, don't you? I think I did. So, what was going on here tonight? Stick to the game. Just trying to make conversation. I don't spill my dust to people I don't know. You know, sometimes it makes it easier. I should know in my line of work. Not good at all. Mine's a real short story. Please tell her to sleep. It was an accident. It makes no sense, Paulina. If it was an accident, you would have come forward. No, I should have, but it wasn't that simple. Jake was blackmailing me even back then. With what? <coughs> it wasn't even true, but I didn't even know it then. Know what, Paulina? Jamie, I had just found all of you. My family. And Jake said that he had proof that I wasn't a quarry. And you just took him as his word. No, no, I wasn't afraid. I was afraid. I, I mean, it was just going to be his word against mine. I didn't think anyone would believe me. So you shot him? No. No, it wasn't like that. I, I went to his studio and tried to get whatever proof he had on me. I, I didn't even know what had happened between him and my lord that she'd even been there. You were there after he raped her? Yes. When I found out later on, I realized that's why he'd been so wild that night. He was acting crazy, Jamie. He wouldn't give me the information, and then he threatened me. I was so afraid of him. I saw the look on his face and in his eyes. I was terrified. 
I didn't know what I was doing. I picked up the gun and tried to burst the purple away from me. He grabbed the gun and it went off. So you just left them there bleeding. I didn't know what to do. I wasn't asking him. I didn't know what to do. What to do. So to save your own neck, you put it on Molly and let her take the gun. No, I never meant for that. Damn you, Damn you. Damn you. You almost killed Molly. You almost destroyed her. How could you let this go on? <laughs> Suffered the worst kind of loss. Believe me, I understand. But at last, you said I'd pull you out of existence for good. As bad as it is, it doesn't give you permission to act like a jerk. People care. People are trying to help you. They've been turning their lives upside down. For you don't know I need to say this, Frankie. But nobody's asking for any thanks here. But nobody is suggesting that you should act like some kind of a poly atom. A little common courtesy would be much appreciated. Like a phone call in the middle of the night in the middle of the blizzard to tell the people who care that you're all right. That would have been nice. talking to me right now. I'm just trying to help. I may have even gotten through to them. Or made things worse. Oh, you're going to mess up here today. You have to do what you have to do to keep them from destroying themselves. So where are you packing in? You, you will if you want to. I'm not too worried about you. Well, I'll stay too. I'm still waiting. It's going to be raining. You're going to tell me about this sorry life of yours. I'm in school. It's as simple as that. I never got a break. Is that it? Hmm. I just only got the skin off my toes from Lassiter. Lassiter. It's a small town in the western Pennsylvania. You've never heard of it. It's a whole town. You wouldn't know anything about things like that. Well, maybe if you didn't see you know anything about everyone. You wouldn't screw up so much. <laughs> you ever been any place that everything clean turns gray as soon as it hits the air? Maybe. You never know. Don't tell me. You wrote a college thesis on folk customs on the wrong side of the track, boys. So you think there is no other company, is that it? Nobody makes his own luck. Got out, I made that much happen. I bet it was one run spinning the wheel after the other. And what I heard was, you seemed to be pretty big once before. Some heavy stuff with the ex hair. What do you mean? I didn't even bring those. You leave them all the others. What do you know? I know you did. Now I know why. You'll be right. And I was on my way back. What difference does it make now? Baby, I beg you, please try to understand. I do, Corinna. It's perfectly clear. Oh, no, nothing was clear. I was terrified. I, I was confused. I didn't know what to do. Well, then how come can you never even consider telling the truth? Of course I did. I just didn't think anyone would believe me. Why should you come No, no, not for me. No one ever believe me. Why should this be any different, Jamie? You just spared me the foster home soccer. I opened our home to you. You could have come to me. You could have come to anyone. I'm not even Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
think back in your coach, do you remember what it was like back then? <laughs> but for me, a year ago, I wasn't accepted yet. I wasn't trusted yet. So you just put it on my No, I didn't mean to put it on anyone, Jamie. It was circumstances. You and your circumstances nearly killed Marley. Did you to her like you were in my corner then? Nobody was. Rachel was too suspicious of me. Sure, you know you have to remind me. I know what Marley went through. I know. I told you to get near her. You were my love and support because of my heard the case. And she hit you. I had no one but the family I was trying to hang on to. She was great, Selena. All the horror and the shame that she felt was displayed in that courtroom in the press room for all the world to see. Then you just sit there silently and let it happen. The shame to Jamie. I remember the years that Marley risked her own freedom to save her sister because she didn't live in Vicky. I know. I know. I know. I was on a trail about week after week. If I can change what happened to me, I would. I swear I can. I want this to be the end of my time, Elena. And any ounce of decency, any shred, any word of honesty from you could have stopped the whole damn thing. I do any of you and have never let Marley go to jail, ever. Did it, Jamie? She was innocent, too. Jamie, what are you doing here? I thought Marley left hours ago. I thought she would have called you, let you know she was home safely. Sorry, I was out driving around. You driving in this weather? I saw your lights were still on, Dennis. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I've been taken to the cleaners. I hate it. So, you're digging your way out of the Marley mess and from getting shot. All those months in the hospital must have cost you quite a bit. Everybody in town hated my guts except for Cloud Moon. I see all around here. I can tell about it. I was on my own, but that's not the name of my life. I lost my wife, my business. Such as it was, but I had a way out. Wow. Is he going to scam? Well, let's put it this way nobody else is going to help me out of this hole, so I took a good hard look around and saw a way up and out, and I set it down. It was a sure deal. Not just for me, either. Yeah. Now someone else is involved. Yep. Perfect deal. Nobody gets hurt, everybody gets what they want. I don't be sitting here. Look, don't you start telling me about my life. I was talking about the shit. You're right, I did know. I don't even know when it started to happen. Well, what started to happen? The feeling, I mean, where the hell did they come from? What else it is? That's not funny. But I didn't know what to do. Those times and feelings are the same to me. Not these. I don't know what I said it would occur, but you know, all of a sudden, I just did. I just checked in on Gregory, and he's still dry and sound asleep, so... Hmm. You know, you sleep better if you get under the covers. You know that old stare at the ceiling number? Like a giant VCR, and you rerun your life over and over again. Stay with the good parts, okay?
where he should go. Right to the lift. Off the right. All I feel is emptiness. I'm going to tap the shoulder. Every moment to doze off, you just wake up to another nightmare. So I guess that explains why it's been so rough. Sleep at all in a good place? I'm very good for a few hours of peace. Suck. All right. Whenever. Regardless, this is about a woman. Let's just say she's nothing like I thought she was. No. Well, there we are. We never fail surprises. Some surprises are downright betrayals. Yeah, I can never have found it out. Paige? Yeah. I still haven't trusted anybody since. Look, Jimmy, you know, you don't have to talk about this tonight. I can see you're pretty wrapped. But for what it's worth, it's better that you found out now than later. The question is, now what? You don't have much of a choice. You cut your losses and you walk away. Feelings, good Jenna Zella. That's what always gets you in the end. Well, sounds like woman trouble. You know, after knowing that, I just figured that would be it. I would never love again. You know, he'd want to play with me. He needs the green. Wait, wait, wait a minute. That's what this is about? You're in love? That's right. I'm in love and I lose. Damn 
game's over. You win and you same old score. I'm not keeping score. You want to same score? I owe you 100 bucks. Don't know you win, man. I already told you to forget it, all right? What is your problem? Okay, anyway. Look how the last one he's got must be. Don't you come here for the job. There's always Christmas in our